We're going to move along with case two here. This is a 38 year old man with three week history of headache, confusion, and memory difficulties, a few other neurologic symptoms. Here we have a few axial images from an MRI of the brain. Now just the same images from a little bit lower. Here's a um, magnified uh, T1 pre-contrast and post-contrast images here. Again, you go a little bit lower to that same level. So pre and post-contrast again. Here I've just placed your DWI against your ADC. That's for that higher level there. So this is the last image. So just think about what your diagnosis may be. So your first question is, what's the most likely diagnosis? So hopefully you've thought about that by now. And your second question is, which of these findings correlates with a worse patient outcome? Is it elevated perfusion, so CBV elevation, decreased diffusion, or ADC value, elevated choline on spectroscopy, or elevated NAA on spectroscopy? So this is a case of primary CNS lymphoma. This is a relatively rare condition that's more common in immunosuppressed patients, particularly those with HIV. Uh, we're seeing the clinical incidence go down quite a bit with the use of antiretroviral drugs, so we're seeing it less commonly these days. Uh, this is a malignant B uh, lymphocyte lymphoma, and it most often involves the brain parenchyma. It can often be detected in the CSF if you do a lumbar puncture. Now, the most common locations are the basal ganglia, the praventricular white matter, and the corpus callosum. So this is one of the two lesions which can cross the corpus callosum, the other being a glioblastoma. Now, typically on imaging, you'll see multiple enhancing lesions. T2 hypointensity is a nice characteristic to look for, and you'll see brightness on DWI or it'll have reduced diffusion on ADC. Most commonly in immunocompetent patients, they're solid enhancement, although they can appear cystic necrotic in immunocompromised patients, such as those with HIV. So here's the same images we were looking at before. Here you see uh, on T2, it's, somewhat, it's relatively dark. On post-contrast, you see this nodular enhancement along the margins of the ventricle. And on ADC, it's got low diffusion there. So see how dark it is. Now the answer to your second question is decreased diffusion values. So it's been shown that the lower the diffusion value is, the worse the survival is. So that correlates with poor outcome.